we got the job done, you know, I'm just over the moon and, you know, I thank God, I thank my family, thank my father for getting me through this and getting me to this point and I'm just glad that I've done it. Daniel, you said before uh, the fight that you needed to win tonight to prove to everyone you were a legitimate and to feel like a legitimate world champion. So has that sunk in that you are now a world champion and how does it feel? Yeah, definitely. It does. It feels great. I feel like the champ. <laughs> And then, you know, I want to keep this belt, I just keep this, this train running. It's great. Do you yeah. still dream of next year perhaps having a shot at Undisputed? For sure, yeah. Get that, right that wrong and um, get back and, you know, just do it, fulfill my full potential now. No, I wasn't going to be denied tonight, you know, by any means necessary. Yeah. Um, yeah, they were all saying I was going to get knocked out and we, we also got knocked out. And, um, you know, I'd done the business and I'm just... You know, I'm glad I proved everyone wrong, but this is the start of my journey. This is the start for me. Yeah, they're they're my targets now. They, you know, these are. I want to get my rematch and you know put put the wrong right and you know, you know, God bless and just come through it. The Lord had my back tonight and, you know, my family around me, so I wasn't going to be denied. He could have thrown everything at me. I would have come for it. And, um, you know, that's, you know, that's, 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 just, that's all I have to say. Mike drop. Mike drop. Mike drop. <laughs> Mike drop. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, four fights. It was just a growing process for me, a growing journey. To me, tonight didn't even, it felt almost like a dream tonight in the ring. And just, I just had to seize the moment. So, you know, I thank my dad, I thank my, you know, God and my whole family for being around me and just keeping me grounded and, you know, giving me this opportunity. And I took it with both hands tonight. You've been on one hell of a ride. It's been noted in everyone's questions. What was that turning point for you after the Usyk? Was there a specific moment in camp where you just went, you know what, I know what's going to happen here and still had confidence to go on and do what you've done tonight and create history? Yeah, chats, didn't we, after that fight? Go on, let's talk. I'm no. sorry, all right. we, had, we talked after the fight. We had a talk and, and, it, and, he, and I'm still saying now, it's a fight that he could have won. I genuinely believe that. I, I, I'm not going to go along, I argue again about the low bow. We're living the moment now. And the moment we're in now, this man just showed what he's all about. He went in as an, an underdog, according to a lot of people, big underdog. Most people had written him off. Even on, in this fight, had written him off. And I felt from day one that uh, this was a winnable fight for him. And he went out and as, with a game plan of putting him on the back foot. And as I said at the time, whoever goes on the back foot in this fight, they're going to get beat. And he, and he did that and, then, and stamped his authority on the fight from the first round. And it was an exciting fight. And I think it was as a heavyweight fight. It was a shootout at the end because Daniel got clipped. You know, you got to take your hat off to AJ. He came back and he threw a big punch and caught him. But it became a shootout and he'd done it with a counter. And uh, it was our Hagler Hearns moment. It was a, so exciting. And, uh, and as I said, he'd go in there and make, you know, because he's the nation's favourite, they, they cheered him cheered at, um, AJ going in, but I said they'll cheer him, no, cheer him when he comes out. Daniel with a belt, and that's exactly what the crowd did. 